What's up guys? Frexus Gaming here, and today we are checking in to do a part one of Beyond Reach. It's a new quest mod that I've never done before. It's not exactly new, it's been around for a few years, but it's new to me. And I'm extremely excited to do it. Um, I've actually switched EMBs from the Mythical Ages preset uh, to the Ominous EMB. I might be trying some different EMBs, but it's definitely a lot more bleak from what I understand. Um, so... Before we head over there, I am going to get some more gear and kind of shop around, do some crafting and stuff, because I want to be as prepared as possible. Um, I do know that the enemies there are quite a bit harder than what are just in the base game. Not insanely hard, from what I understand, but still decently hard. <laughs> so I'm extremely excited, guys. So I will see you guys just here in a minute, and we will start the quest. Alright guys, we are back. I bought some magic, learned some new spells, to hopefully make this a little bit easier journey. You, what are you? Please, take Mother Mara's blessing to wash this unease away. Okay, let's see. What do you want about? Mother guides me to those flickering souls who are yet to cast themselves on the fire for tomorrow's utopia. She sees in you potential, potential which can avert calamity. I, her most devoted servant, need you to believe in the goodness of your heart, in love. Stop with this incessant rambling and get to the point. Forgive her beloved child of entropy. For all her conviction, she only looks up, blind to those below the clouds which she wishes to ascend. There is a terror, a terror of minds and ideas forming in the West. A congliage of antipathy and repressed hatred is nearing its sum. If this horror transpires, then neither the restraints of distance nor time will thwart the canker that will be birthed there. I make this plea to you, special child. Meditate between the opposites and seek resolution in the chaos. I will help whenever I can, but my light is weak. However, even the faintest flame can act as a beacon against the background of deep night. That flame will appear to you in a maze of dark when you most need it. Mara, what is this? There is nothing to decipher. Just take heed of these words. Go west and see. Open those eyes and see that which belies its splendor. Beset by men, gods, kings, and ideas, keep a clear eye. Keep your head above water when you reach that realm. The tides of want can drown any who venture too far from the shore. Beyond reach. Seek out the venturing merchant. You tried mercenary work? What on earth? What spell did you cast on her? I didn't I didn't do anything, bro. I know no such spell. Whatever it was had affected me as well. Yes. Yes, I saw. You were mumbling to yourself, almost word for word, that of Jayana. It, forgive me. Our troubles have put me in a hastened mood. Your priestess had Mara speaking through her. Told me about a place in the West? Didn't know madness could be contracted. Is this a jest you're both in on? Uh, no. No. It looks like you're serious, which worries me a lot more. The closest I can come to answering your visions is that we had just hailed from Evermore, which may be that west you want. If you're dead set on taking voyage there, then a merchant who has a route between that hinterland kingdom and Skyrim should be resting at Markar. Word of warning, if you care to listen. The Reach isn't a place you want to risk your neck just on the visions of a zealous priestess. Hmm. Interesting. I love it how she was talking. She's like, there's nothing to decipher. She's speaking of riddles before and after. Uh, rumor has it that the trade between the Reach has slowed to a crawl with the eruption of civil war in Skyrim and growing disorder throughout High Rock. I've learned of a merchant who will soon be making voyage through the cragging landscape in hopes of delivering the goods to Evermore. 
He's now stationed in Markarth in search of a caravan guard. I should try to make the trip with him before he departs. Evermore, that honestly sounds like, um, I don't know if that was like from a movie or whatnot, but it sounds all fantasy and mythical and everything, and from what I understand, this mod, it is bleak as all get out, so. Dark. I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright guys, we're back in. This is the man to talk to over here. Hello. Traveling the high rock? What gave it away? This rugged face or my tired gaze? Crossing those valleys will give you both. Um I was informed that you were staying here by a religious couple. Happen to know them? Ah, little blind girl and her clingy bodyguard, right? They're a couple now? Don't seem to give that impression on their way here. Ah, I digress. I don't know why that is doing that. Hold on. What gave it, what gave it away? This. Ah, going to make her a... The fool who escorted oh, me here got himself lost in the wild somewhere, staggering from the inn in a drunken stupor. Thought about tying him to the wagon until he came to his senses. Yet, ultimately, if you're going to put your life in someone's hands, then it better be someone you trust. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to skip that dialogue. I was just trying to get the camera to work correctly there. So, basically, he had a bodyguard. The bodyguard that got drunk, so he got rid of him. And he needs someone that he can trust. So you trust me. We've only just met. All oh, right. I'm desperate, you see. Happy now? I just need a body to take the hits in case we get into any trouble. Which we won't, of course. Don't worry be paid handsomely. That is, if you don't drop the venture halfway through and push through to the end. Yeah, I'll jump on. Always wanted to see Hyra. Ah, don't want to blow the wind out of your sails, but this is the east of High Rock, worlds apart from the west. Don't want you to be getting any false impressions of us Breton folk from the uh, people you meet down there. Ah, there I go rambling again. Get aboard. New lands await. I really do enjoy the voice acting. Um, I know that there's times Hope where it... your own rug. That hardwood's going to be a real pain later on. Don't get too comfortable, though. Still need a blade ready for when the road gets rough. It seems like there's some places on it where the mic kind of peeks out. But other than that, quality. Love it so far. Skeletons are reanimated bones of the dead. This is like uh, the Elder Scrolls loading screens, if y'all are curious. I do not wish to skip the intro. Damn, we're on the doorstep of the kingdom, yet the gods ordain that we stumble across trouble now. What a farce. This definitely sets the mood. And I'm not going to read this out loud, guys. Uh, if y'all want to read it, just go ahead and pause the video, or you can kind of skim through it. It's creepy. Definitely sets the mood. And that sets the mood too. Alright. Yo. Yeah, what should I expect in this kingdom? Evermore's renowned most of all for its colorful cast of characters and deviants. Yo, run the gamut of Britonic experience in that cluster of man. First settlement you'll come across, considering you stay the course once you depart from a wagon, is the Divide, a hulking bridge jutting out from its watery canal. Standing atop that stony juggernaut will grant you a vista of the reach's mires and towns, most notably Arnhem, and if you squint hard enough, Evermore itself. Evermore? I thought Evermore was a kingdom? <laughs> Semantics, eh? <clears throat> Evermore is the city and the kingdom, 
where the city itself beats as the heart and centre of our royal affairs. The place where the Reach consolidates its authority and, well, Reach, the East. <laughs> Used to be a backwater not too long ago, the Eastern Hinterland Kingdom. Yet recent times have spoiled the city with inordinate wealth and power. Power that they've used to conquer and subjugate their comparatively less civilized neighbors. Now, any Breton dwelling east of the city's walls sports their banner. You'll see it on your arrival. You mentioned a town called Arnima. What happens there? Nothing pleasant, I assure you. Most outside their miserable sty consider it to be a stain on the kingdom. Ah, I Good see. Reason. Most of the guards are nothing but thugs looking to shake down us humble merchants when given the chance, and they routinely terrorize those unfortunate sods that don't have the means to leave. All governed by that strange character, Mortifate. Lord Mortifate, to be correct. Mortifate. All aboard by his name. Our tales of sordid acts and strange punishment disseminated upon those beneath him who weren't wise enough to escape. Most of these tales smack of madness. Most are simply ignored because they're hard to imagine happening within any civil residence. I never risked finding out for myself. It just dampens the mood, which isn't good when you're traveling when you're lonesome. Right, right. I'll be avoiding that place then, probably. I probably won't have a choice. <sighs> that reminds me. I actually have to pass by that decay. Lying right within their walls. Hopefully, the guards are knock out drunk, as usual. They're the meanest when they're sober. Uh. Why did we stop? Look over there! The man's gasping for life! I'm not going any further until you find out what's going on. Then why didn't she let me just do that first? Why don't you go look? Hey now! I'm just a merchant! I try to avoid spilled blood. Besides, what else am I paying you for? And, uh, don't blame me if you see this wagon halfway to the horizon from here to the streets. Hey. What happened? Those witchmen in the tower, they ambushed us when we were changing shifts. Ah, one of my, get them to send men. Please. Oh, man. That's a shame. Definitely set in the mood with the storm. Goodness. It looks like up over here. This way is where we're supposed to go. Looks like there's something we can kind of investigate over here first, though. Definitely creepy. Ooh, chest. Armor's iron ingot. Might as well take it. Card of shadows. Search scout. Imperial Steel Mall as well. I might as well just kind of take all of it for right now. I know he's dropped some stuff, but I kind of want to sell some things. Inspect. The head appears to have been severed with a crude instrument as the bone sticks out among the flesh and veins surrounding it. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is... Definitely creepy. Can I take that torch? It'd be really nice to have a torch right about now. Let's drop a save. Yeah. I'm almost wondering if this is more like a murder mystery. So, a couple of the things that we bought is a summon, which I will now use. Uh, let's do that here, actually. But before I do, I'm going to cast this, make our magic regenerate quicker. 
because just based on kind of the decapitated heads and severed sawn off heads and everything what's supposed to say a victim of a frenzied attack furniture thrown across the floor and bodies left to decay in undignified states you can still see the panicked faces strewn across some of their severed heads oh my gosh yeah, this is dark I like it though definitely creepy okay let's uh set a trap if we can here what's this oh another victim I hear something Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, what are you, dude? I mean, you look like a force one, but I don't think you are a force one. You're creepy, you're spitting some kind of poison. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. <laughs> All my healing potions. Jeez, man. 100 points more. I'm going for it now, bro. We're going for it. No, no. No, move. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? I'm going slow. It's like that stuff slows me or something. What the flip, bro? Stop it. Quit. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to keep from dying right now. Oh my gosh. Oh! Uh-uh. Do we have like active poison or something? Oh my gosh. Woo! Man, those boots are coming in clutch. That is creepy as all get out. I don't like his voice, but I love it at the same time. <laughs> oh man. I stole a steel warhammer. I didn't even mean to. Okay. Okay, yeah, that was that guy. Gee whiz, man. Let's wait until the morning. Just so I can maybe see just a little bit better. And then we'll loot that tower. Or see if there's anything to loot at least. There was a chest at the bottom, but... We'll see. Not much brighter. <laughs> wow, man. It's definitely very dark and gritty so far. Imperial soldier. You got anything? No? Holy oh, man. So that must be one of the witchmen that he was talking about here. Some bucket, steel sword, witchman, sword, witchman, axe. Imperial soldier. Body parts. Jeez, man. Dude's freaking nuts. Literally a lunatic. Let's see, what's it saying now? The madman that charged me was struck down. I sensed a very malicious tone to his words, like it wasn't his own, but something sinister using his body as a vessel. I shake off this paranoia and head for the merchant again for my pay. So basically, he was possessed. All right. That's not creepy. Release. Release from the flesh. Oh, gosh, dude. Weather like this, I get an inkling of regret from turning a chance down to become a mage. Cast one of those spells to protect us from the rain. Alright. No survivors left. The Force Sworn attacked this tower. No, friend. Not Force Sworn. Witch men. Thought I told you about these devils already. I must have forgotten. Trust me, these aren't the type you want to be ignorant about. If you treat them like you would any common scoundrel hunting for your coin purse, sight you'll be seeing is that of your gods. Bastards coat their blades and arrows with this vile poison. 
A resin so foul it can condemn giants to an agonizing death with nary a brush. Not sure how you came out of that alive, to be honest. You're tougher than you look. Thanks. Really? That's hard to believe. These scum are the whole new low for the Reachmen. Carving of man, woman, child, and babe alike in their hideous rituals. Sadistic artists. How they play with the bodies they harvest and hoist them in that dense woodland north. Foul. Simply foul. You spoiled my mood. At least you've made it back. I was about to do one. Had you spent any longer up there? Where will you go now? Will I face any more of these witchmen on the road? You shouldn't. The divide is within spitting distance. If you keep to the road, you should arrive there without harm. Unless you take a detour, that is. That's where my almighty prescience ends and the uncertainty begins. But as we know, ignorance pays. My clients are probably waiting with bated breath. Taken long enough to get here already. I'll need to skip on any indulgences on that bridge and head straight to Arnhemar. However, uh, you should speak with the governor up there, Morosa. Frumpy little woman, but don't tell her I said that. She'll normally be within the temple, sparing a prayer for our mutual mother. Mutual mother? Sister? Mara, you fool. If there's one god you should know in the reach, then it's her. Oh. People don't take kindly to those who know not about her grace. I'll see you around, friend. Give my thanks to Morosa for keeping this road so safe. <laughs> oh, man. Well, between the mood and everything, guys, I think we'll actually wrap up episode part one here of Beyond Reach. Let's see here. My illustrious career of caravan guard has come to an end. I must now head to the town called the Divide. The sacking of the guard's tower has to be reported. I was told a mother named Morosa is in charge. So next episode, guys, we will track down this Morosa. Um, I'm really excited so far. I really, really... Come on. Almost there. Are you pulling something, or is that just you freaking out? Alright, anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe guys for more content, and check out the other playlist if you haven't. This is Frexus Gaming, signing out.